Hi everyone. In this video, I am explaining about unsymmetrical triggering through a unilateral device. In the previous video, I have explained there are two different types of uh, triggering techniques available. One is symmetrical triggering, another one is unsymmetrical triggering. I told you the difference between symmetrical and unsymmetrical is depending upon the number of sources. If we are using a single source for the generation of both the triggering pulses at both either collectors or bases, then we can call it as a symmetrical triggering. Symmetrical triggering. Suppose if we are using two separate generators for these triggering pulses at collectors and bases, then we are we can call it as a unsymmetrical triggering. Separate means unsymmetrical. Same means symmetrical. Okay. Now triggering pulses. Now how the triggering pulse is applied uh, through a unilateral device? We are going to see. See. Before going into the circuit diagram of this bistable multivibrator, it is very important to know what is the main purpose of the triggering pulse and how to generate the which circuit is helping us to produce this triggering pulse. See, triggering pulse is nothing but triggering pulse is a very short duration signal very short duration signal that means we can say this is the triggering pulse this is the triggering pulse again after some time instant the same signal will be repeated with the same narrow duration this is what the triggering pulse because triggering pulse main purpose is to change the state of a transistor okay no need to give continuous supply to the transistor because that supply is already coming from different source like vcc or vbb okay we are not giving any additional supply we are not giving any additional supply because of this triggering pulse triggering pulse is only intended to create the state change in the transistor so the main purpose is to disturb the operation okay so that's why a short duration signal is sufficient to, to just trigger it to the negative direction okay this is what the triggering pulse importance now who will generate the triggering pulse suppose already we have studied in the beginning of this uh, pulse and digital circuits a high pass rc circuit high pass rc circuit a high pass rc circuit acts as acts as differentiator differentiator when time constant rc is less than less than input signal time period t when time constant less than less than input signal time period t so this high pass rc capacitance followed by a resistor this particular circuit is used to produce this triggering pulse because we are having very least capacitance value and very least resistance value so that the product is very very small as this product is very small it takes very long time to charge and as well as very long long time to uh, discharge okay so if you are giving a triggering uh, like a square waveform a rectangular waveform to this one so immediately it produces spikes sorry uh, as rc value is very very small it takes very short time to go to the steady state okay suppose if rc value is more then it takes very long time okay no no so as rc value is very 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 small immediately the capacitor charges and discharges so it goes like this and there exists a sudden change in the negative field it goes like this this is what the triggering pulse output when the input is a square waveform this is the square waveform we need to give at the input for the generation of triggering pulse okay we can call it as a square waveform or a rectangular waveform depending upon the time period now 
okay the output of this one is this one which is having both positive spikes and as well as negative spikes because the rc e value is very very less than t this particular rc time constant makes the circuit capacitor to charge immediately and to charge uh, discharge immediately because the capacitance value is very small okay now this output signal is not sufficient not at all preferred for the triggering pulse because it consisting of both positive and as well as negative what i told you in the triggering pulse to change the state of your particular transistor negative going pulse is sufficient there is no importance of positive going pulse because the transistor is in saturation region no need to give any positive supply to that particular transistor because it is already saturated if you are giving negative supply then only it changes the state see suppose if you are taking a transistor like this this particular transistor set to be operated in saturation region suppose for this saturation region you are giving a positive spike this positive spike will not disturb the operation of this on transistor because it is already saturated so in order to disturb this particular transistor we should give a negative supply so this negative supply has an impact on influence on the operation of this particular transistor and as well as bistable multivibrator okay so in order to accomplish the task positive peaks are not not at all required so we need to filter that positive peak we need to eliminate that positive peak so how to eliminate the positive peak suppose if you are giving a diode like this in the output so for only negative pulses the diode comes into on state and for uh, for positive peaks for positive peaks which are coming towards this uh, input die of the diode definitely they will be filtered off because it, during positive peak the diode is operated in open uh, open circuit nothing but uh, off state so the input will not be going into the output but for negative signal the output will only pass then what is the output signal this is the output waveform which is consisting of pure negative going spikes this signal is important in the triggering pulse so this is what the generation of triggering pulse and that is the importance of a rectifier nothing but a diode nothing but an unilateral device nothing but a unilateral device so the same circuit is just remodeled with an unsymmetrical triggering at collectors with a diode see here i told you already a capacitance followed by resistor and then diode see capacitance followed by resistor and then diode diode is in the reverse direction here also see capacitance resistance and diode is in the reverse direction okay same at the collectors we are giving the signal here and here operation is same but the change is additionally we will be having a diode to uh, further particular operation what i have explained so far now coming to unsymmetrical triggering at bases the same circuit is just again redrawn by connecting at the base of this particular transistor c at the base we are connecting same configuration diode is there capacitance is there resistance is also there but the resistance now it is connected other end is connected to ground here also other end is connected to ground but previously it was connected to vcc see here previously it is connected to vcc okay so this is what the unsymmetrical triggering when you are taking the base and as well as diode see suppose if you are taking a see one more thing here uh, set and reset configurations okay in flip flop you can encounter these words like a set and reset what do you mean by set in flip flop a flip flop is nothing but we can call it as a bistable multivibrator bistable multivibrator or we can call it as a binary i told you already so in a flip flop set and reset set and reset pins or what is the purpose of set and reset use to set output to 1 set output to 1 or reset to 0 respectively okay set when set is equal to 1 output is equal to 
that means we are setting previously we are setting priorly and reset when reset is equal to 1 irrespective of other operations output is simply is equal to 0 so set and reset pins will not depend on the input condition of the flip flop or bicycle multivibrator okay without considering the effect of the input signals the output is directly either making either 0 or 1 if set is equal to 1 output is equal to 0 if set or reset is equal to 1 output is equal to 0 if set is equal to 1 output is equal to 1 suppose if these two pins are zeros then the, there is no use of these two pins set is equal to 0 means it is not operated set is not going to have any influence on the circuit and similarly if reset is equal to 0 it is also not having any influence on the circuit so that is the name given on either side of this one okay so as i told you a negative going pulse is given here that negative going pulse when going through this one it will be having both positive and as well as negative spikes like this among these it is selected negative spikes that is given here these negative pulse are used to change the state of a particular transistor q2 whenever it is in on state okay so this is about unsymmetrical triggering at collectors and as well as at bases.